Hello, I'm Eric with Narrow Road Van Conversions, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Set Power RV45S Cooler Slash Freezer. Well, first off, it looks like it's boxed up really nicely. I like how it's got foam around it because I tend to get damaged merchandise uh, when it gets shipped to me. So this looks like it's in great shape and they package it up nicely so um, it resists damage. Alright, looks like it's got a lot of foam inside of it which is great. Cushion the uh, blows of transportation. Uh, right off the bat, I like these sturdy handles. Uh, I also like how they can be removed. So if we wanted to set this in and put it in a drawer, um, we could put it in a drawer that slides in and slides out that would conceal it. So I really like that, how it could be dual purpose. So we're excited to review this because one of the things I've been looking for is a great backup option to our existing fridges. Just like at home, you have a refrigerator and a freezer at home, but you always have that extra stuff that you wanna take with you or keep in your basement. Well, this is what this kind of is. So you can put this in the garage area of the van and use it as a backup or as a portable unit. Or like I mentioned previously, we could build it into the van and it could be your main refrigerator slash freezer. So let's open it up and take a look around. I like these clasps. They look like they're high quality and they're fixed in there nice. I like how, right off the bat, I like how it seals. I can tell it's got a really nice seal around it. Uh, the gasket is a one-piece gasket that is going to make a nice contact on the top of this plastic. Um, so inside of it looks like we have two sections, uh, removable baskets, one for uh, the big main compartment and another one over the, uh, the compressor area. So let's pull out the accessories and see what it comes with. All right, right off the bat, looks like we've got a user's manual. We've got an AC cord with an AC um, adapter. Looks like the input is can be between 100 and 240 volts and draws 2.5 amps. The output on this is 13.5 volts uh, at 6 amps at 12 volt DC. Then we also have the 12 volt cigarette adapter, um, automotive plug adapter, and that's all that's in the accessories. So on this side over here is where we kind of have the control center. Uh, looks like we have an on off button. We can set it to uh, battery protection, low, mid, and high. Uh, when it's running here, it looks like it'll show us the temperature and the compressor speed can be set to min, uh, minimum or maximum. On the back side, it looks like we've got um, some stickers here that show you recommendations on the temperatures to keep this fridge slash freezer at for different kinds of food. Uh, it also has um, some other information here about how much power it uses and a wiring diagram on the back which is nice and handy if you're going to wire it directly into the DC power of the van or RV. So the main thing about the way we design these vans is they're designed to be off-grid and self-reliant on their own power. So when you're out there and on your own, it's really important to have DC power, which is much more efficient than AC power. So I'm gonna slide it into the van, see how it fits in there. It's relatively light, slides in, 
fits nicely inside the garage. Uh, we can see all the controls on this side. Another thing I noticed here that I didn't notice before is a nice easily accessible fuse right there in case that blows a fuse. So I can see this being great for kind of it, for being like your chest freezer at home. So if you like to eat a lot of frozen meals, you can bring those things along and pick them out and cook them at your leisure. Uh, how I would like to use it is one, I love to do boat trips. My wife and I enjoy camping on places uh, that are really remote and we'll take the boat and we'll go out for four, five, six days at a time. And what we've done in the past is we've had to take two coolers along with us. And one of the coolers in the summertime is typically full of ice and that's all it's for. So that whole cooler is very heavy and very cumbersome to take along. And then the second cooler that we have is for the food. And then we'll transfer ice or blocks of ice out of our freezing frozen cooler and into our food cooler as the week progresses. And as it goes, it usually lasts us about seven days uh, that way, but it's very big, it's heavy, it takes up a lot of space. I have a small boat and there's not a lot of space in it. So I'm really excited to try this one out where I can plug it into my uh, boat power and have it run off of that. And I don't have to lug all that extra weight around with the ice and all the extra space of having that second cooler. We like to do a lot of travel in backcountry where we're self-reliant and we like to hunt also. So I think this would be great for something like if you were out hunting and you did harvest an animal, you'd be able to process it on the spot at your campsite, be able to pack it up and freeze it and take it along with you and take it home. I know a lot of people who do that sort of thing end up packing their animals out and using dry ice and shipping them back home. But this would save you a big trip and a whole lot of expense on shipping it uh, back home. So we have it plugged in, it's running. I'm surprised at how quiet it is. It's very quiet. On Amazon, it talks about how many amps it draws. It says seven and a half amps. Um, it also says that around the back here on the side. It says that the rated current DC is 7.5 amps to 3.7 amps. However, we just plugged that into our battery monitor and tested it while it's running. And it actually runs at 2.2 amps. So it's less than what it says. Uh, it, was, it cooled down very quickly also. We plugged it in about a half hour ago. It started off at about 50 degrees Fahrenheit and it cooled it down to 14 degrees Fahrenheit in about a half hour. Per our testing, it's very quick to cool. It's very efficient to cool. And it, uh, it does not draw much at all, only 2.2 amps. I'm really excited to get this unit out on the road to test it out and see how it performs. So thanks a lot for joining us. I'm Eric with Narrow Road Van Conversions and we'll see you next time.